they said 911, how may, what's your emergency? And I said, I got, me and my little brother got kidnapped. Wow, she may be little, but she is fast on her feet. It was her call to 911 from the back seat of her father's stolen car that saved her and her brother from being taken across the border. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura talked to them tonight. And Anthony, this case was minutes away from becoming an international kidnapping. That's right, they were just two minutes away from Mexico and I spoke with that little girl and her father. He's a single dad who broke down in tears saying that if his daughter didn't have her cell phone today, he could have lost both his children. Video shows the close call at the border. A three-year-old boy and an eight-year-old girl in the back seat of that car with guns drawn. Police went in, arrested the driver. Probably less than two minutes away from actually crossing the border. It all started outside this beauty supply warehouse in Lincoln Park. Malaya and her brother were in the back seat while their dad went in to buy her some hair supplies. The car and AC was running on a scorching day. He was gone for less than two minutes. That's when the woman made her move. Right here. And this is where the lady and this is where the lady was sitting. She looked at the car and she saw it running and she saw kids in it. Then she just got in it and drove away. I ran out in the traffic and actually ran past cars. I saw my dad coming out the store, then I saw her banging out the window on me, and I yelled, Daddy, but she rolled the window up. But she ran the light. So I broke down in the middle of the street. But Malaya knew what to do. Her dad gave her a cell phone in case of an emergency, and this qualified. They said 911, how may, what's your emergency? And I said, I got, me and my little brother got kidnapped. Then they said, where are you and what do you see? Then I said, I see signs that say Mexico border. She tried to take the phone from me, but then I moved away from her. And then, and then she said, give me the phone or I'm gonna drive in circles and crash into the freeway wall. Hearing what could have been brought her dad to tears. <laughs> Malaya says she eventually gave the woman the phone, but by that time, police knew where they were, and they moved in. I'm very proud of her. And he should definitely be proud. Now get this, that dad says his daughter's cell phone didn't even have service, but he has a medical condition, so he showed her how to use the emergency feature just in case. Well, it came in very handy today. We're reporting live tonight, Anthony Perra, 10 News. What